So if you're anything like me, you'll eat oatmeal every single morning for breakfast to be healthy, but after a while, you can't even look at it anymore. So I came up with this recipe. It's still healthy, but let's just say it involves chocolate. Now let's get started. oatmeal is always going to start off with a cup of oats, one egg, and one cup of the milk of your choice. Anything beyond this point is completely up to you, however you would like to flavor this oatmeal. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I post new recipes every single week. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on them. Now after your base is mixed, it's going to get poured all over the oats. I'm going to mix it in slightly and then I'll be adding the sweetener of my choice. Today I'm going to be using a pure maple syrup. And for that rich chocolate taste, I'm adding a quarter cup of cocoa powder. I know what you can do. You're gonna mix all of this up well until it's fully incorporated and for the fun part, take four spoonfuls of some melted peanut butter and drizzle it all over the top. Swirl it around a few times and this is gonna get baked in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and show you my second favorite flavor, which is banana nuts. Follow the same steps. Add one cup of oats, one cup of milk, and one egg and mix it all up well. Once you're done, you're going to flavor this with some cinnamon and the traditional walnuts and bananas. Bake this as you would the other oatmeal. And this is how they look when they're done. It's like having a peanut butter brownie for breakfast or a banana nut muffin. So delicious and so good for you. Packed with protein, rich in antioxidants, it'll keep you feeling full until lunch. There's so many different variations of flavors. Be creative with this baked oatmeal. Cinnamon apple, carrot raisin, or a date walnut. Which flavor will you come up with? I did like you know what's up, but you ain't psychic. Don't 